Hello everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance with me, Varex, Mutt, Pebbles, and Henry. And this episode, we are going to continue the main quest after making a lot of headway on DLCs and finishing two of them. It's just it's just a guard. It's just a guard. Don't 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 attack him. Don't attack him. <laughs> um this is the only one we've got really. We've we've finished kind of everything else. Lost and Found is just this kind of stupid thing and then we got chumps and other stuff that we don't want to do or is far too much hassle so the only way to the monastery leads through a young nobleman who is supposed to uh, join the monks ranks so we've got to join the monastery as a novice um, <laughs> um yeah we're not going to sneak in we're just going to go in there I think we've got a letter haven't we so let's do so we know where the monastery is Good pebbles. Let's go there. Yeah. Thanks very much for your kind words. Let's get my head around where we are. Okay, this is fine. Um, yeah. Last episode, you know about how I'm doing and stuff. You guys still with me? Still enjoying everything? Um, you know, I was, well, uh, there's at least one person out there who only watches me as far as let's players go. Um. Which probably explains yeah. why they do so, because you know. Otherwise, they would probably stop. So someone else. So carry on. <laughs> it is very quiet. There is no music. It is weird. Um, I mean, I'm used to. Blah, I'm used to. There we go. There's some starting. I'm used to babbling, you know, on my own while while on horseback. Riding around between here and there and such. I don't even know why I'm on the horse, really, because fast traveling would be completely fine. Nevertheless, here I am. And uh, But it's just like even, you know, when there's no music in the background. This is really odd. This is really kind of... The world seems kind of kind of naked. And, and my voice just seems even more awkward than, than, than normal. But... No. It's back. So that's good, but yes. I, well, it's just it's just nice to say hi, I suppose, isn't it? It's, hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to to, to the video. I hope you're doing all right. Let's go across there because yeah, where are we going? I might I might just uh. I just oh. What that is? You know what that is? That is a scarecrow. Everybody, <laughs> why not? And I've got one about these as well. These green things as well. But why was the Scarecrow nominated for Employee of the Month? Mm? I'll tell you. It's been a while since I've told this one. It's because he was outstanding in his field. Yes. But can anyone tell me how trees feel in spring? Mm? I bet you can, but I will. They are relieved. Yeah. Right then. Uh, let's fast travel. If we resort into that, it's time to fast travel to the monastery. We might be here for a while. <clears throat> relieved. <clears throat> One of things we might encounter trouble here, but that's fine. Start the video. All I gotta do is just, just, you know, if if I get into bother and die, which you know might make a bit of a. I wouldn't mind, to be honest, because, you know, it's probably not going to be a big, oh, um, combat heavy video. Uh, a snare. Let's scout it. And no doubt get into a lot of trouble. Right then. So, no doubt enemies here. So let's go with the longbow. Now, although if we go into food, we've got some things here that are not food. Uh, oh, I don't really have much, um, poison on me. What is this? What, what, what is this? Alright, let's just take that. The thing is, it's... Okay, I need to get some poison, really, because this is all beneficial stuff, which is good. <clears throat> but I'm curious about... Um, what my enemies are. Because if they're... 
guys in armor and stuff, I will take potions. If they aren't, I won't. Gonna find out very soon. Very soon. Where's my shield? Hang on. Hang on! It's got something on it anyway. Right, so this isn't gonna be worth it. Fucker! Giving up already! How many of you? Oh, it's a dog. That's, that's, an, that's actually quite unusual. No, I don't mind if there's a dog because we get to kill it first, if you like. And it gives us that perk, which then makes us do that. But yeah, this, because they don't have armor, I'm kind of disappointed because, you know, you know, A, we're going to win. I'm sure there's more of them. Waiting for an arrow to whack him in the eye or something. Or the knee. Um. But you know, they, they, they just they don't have anything. I mean, Mercy Kill, oh absolutely, let's do that. Eh, yeah, lovely. That might have been it, but I mean, what, what's this, what, what is this? What you got? A pointed yellow hat. Oh, let's feed the dog as well. And, uh, oh, what's in this one? Uh, 12.1. Look what I've got for you. You'll love it. Still, the dog did well, so he deserves his treat. Oh, a coif. Marvellous. Only three of them, though. Maybe there's more. You tend to, you tend to lose money when you fight those guys. Because it takes more to repair your armor from the hits you get they get on you. And you get off them. Same time if they're heavily armed. Going the right way. I'll see. You run the risk of dying. No. So we're gonna go into the uh, the monastery now and, and um, as I alluded, there's probably not gonna be a whole lot of combat going on for a little while. No. So, there's our destination right there. Yeah. <clears throat> nice to have a little bit of uh, excitement. No, this won't be exciting, but we're not going to be whacking people's heads off with axes. It's, just, it's also all I'm saying. So, um, if you're here for that, it's kind of done. You can leave now. I do terrible for my analytics, but last time I clicked that button was probably by accident. Um, oh well, yes, pretty good. I wonder what Pebbles and Mo are going to do while I'm in there. Because I'm going to assume, I'm just going to put it out there that maybe dogs aren't allowed in there and definitely not horses. You'll be fine, of course. But, hmm, what's going to just cry? I have to get changed as well, I, I imagine. Alright, so where should we park you? Where are you going to be happy? I don't know how long we're going to be in there. You know, it could be an hour, it could be three hours. I'll just put you in here with your friends. Face you this way, yes. Got a nice view of the outside world. Rather than just a wall like these guys, you get a view of monastery and stuff. There you go. You! Stay here. Oi! Oi! Wait here for me. Yep, just, you'll be fine. Stay. You got some friends here, and there's some food here you can steal. Speaking of which, I'm fine. So, on with the quest. to mark it. And then find out we're in the wrong place somehow. Gee, we have to speak to Brother Porter. Hello. Here we go. Yeah, I'm Carl. I'm Carl. I'm supposed to enter as a novice. We expected you sooner. Huh. Were you supposed to come here with your guardian? 
It's been so hectic lately, people will keep turning up out of the blue. You got drunk? Oh, we could threaten. Not, not the best way of doing stuff, though, so... He gave me the papers and left me at the gate. You must be used to that, though. I'm not the first novice here, am I? Well, that wasn't very considerate of him, was it? No. It's been so hectic here lately, novices arriving one after the other. The last one didn't even have a letter, and <laughs> you'd think his backside was on fire. The way he kept looking over his shoulder. You took him without the letter? You didn't find that suspicious? My guess is he wanted to hide from someone. Mm. But he's a priest and knows how things work in the monastery. So there was nothing to prevent him from being accepted, at least temporarily. You're a different case, though. Are you able to read? Absolutely. Naturally. I wouldn't be here otherwise. So then, are you ready to enter the Order of St. Benedict and renounce forever the temptations of this world? Uh, I've heard this before. Um... Yeah, I am. Then you must rid yourself of all your worldly possessions. Sell them or give them to the poor and needy or donate them to the monastery. You may not enter this place burdened by worldly goods. That figures. Inside the gatehouse is a trunk in which you will find monk's robes. Put away all your possessions and dress yourself in the habit. Then you may rest a while. While I go and see the prior to arrange matters for your acceptance. See you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna give our all our stuff away to the horse. Okay. <laughs> That'll do on it. Put away. Put on a monk's robe. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> In here? Oh, it's, it's gonna be a strange feeling being without all of that. I didn't realize how much I'd grown used to it. Yeah, back in skin and all that. Okay. We've worn this before. Everything's prepared. It's time for you to take your vows. Do I really have to wear this? You'd better get used to it. You'll be wearing it for the rest of your life. Of course I will. Brothers in Christ, we have gathered here today to welcome a new novice into our midst. Dear brother, forget your former life and embrace your new vocation in the community of the monks of St. Benedict. Opus Dei, Obedientia, Obprobria, the service of God, obedience, and endurance of all discomfort. These are the cornerstones and succor of our order, which on this day shall become your own. Suscipe me, Domine, secundum eloquium tuum et vivam. Et non confundas me 
ab expectatione mea. Suski pe me domine secundum in loquium tuum vivam in loquium tuum vivam et et non confundas me ab expectatione Accept your new name, Brother Gregor, and wear it with honor. Welcome, Brother. He's not going to fit in. It's just not going to fit in. Welcome, Brother. I am Antonius, a novice like you. I've been instructed to guide you around the monastery and tell you what you can expect and what your duties will be. A needle in a haystack. Kill Pius. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> and Pius over justice. Yeah, let's uh, let's um, let's thank him for for that. That really helped. Thanks for helping me out during the ceremony. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. You don't know Latin, do you? Don't worry. Work in the scriptorium will teach you fast enough. Why exactly are you here? Was it your choice? Or did someone force you to come? Oh, everyday labor's marvellous. No, it's just... I absolutely wanted to... Being here in the monastery is my dream come true. Being a monk is so... so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one's ever said that before. I'm curious if you'll still be singing the same tune in a month's time. Would you tell me something about yourself? I'm a novice and I'm here because I'd make a poor merchant. I like books and I want an education. Although I must say, so far the monastic life's been quite... unexpected. Unexpected? Yeah, let's do the two. I mean, we don't know our way around. Let's go then. Good. But before we do... Here's a letter directly from the prior telling you all your regular duties from tomorrow onwards. Make sure to read it this evening so you know how things work. Right, we can go now. Yeah, it sounds great. Follow me closely. I'll explain everything as we go. I mean, you know, they, they put the, the, this in there. Remember one word, discipline. It's your job to work and pray. You serve the Lord now, not your own bodily needs. I put this in the game, so I might as well use it. Leave the effort in. Servus. Hi. Bring that, okay. This is the way to the dormitory, where we all sleep. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. Get a free bed. You know the first thing the monastery taught me? To appreciate sleep. We rise before dawn every day. Takes a bit of getting used to. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, they put this into I've the... I've read one of the manuscripts copied by one of the novices. I think I'm going to cry. It's that touching, is it? Touching? More like infuriating. A horrible, abominable waste of parchment. The young people have no respect for writing these days. But they'll learn. We were no different. I'm telling you, someone's been creeping around in the corridor at Come night. Now. I don't want what to am I saying? Creeping? At he was stomping about like a bear. That must have been Brother Cicada. He can't sleep and prays long into the night. All right, he's made his way out the dark. It's good. This is nice. This is the garden. A place for silent contemplation and meditation. Centuries ago, this monastery was founded by the most esteemed of brothers, St. Procopius. His earthly remains can be found in a cave under the monastery. Yep. And his spirit wanders the corridors at night, punishing any misbehaving novices. Ah. <laughs> so beware. Here at the Frattery and Scriptorium, 
together with the library. These are the places where we work. Ora et labora. Pray and work. As a novice, you must always listen to your superior brethren. And above us monks are the prior and the circators, who punish every infraction. You'll know them by the canes they carry. Do what they say. This is the refectory, where we come together to eat. During meals, you must be silent. Only one brother reads aloud from the rule of St. Benedict. The rule is the only law we recognize, with the exception of those from God himself. If you break any of its... Pre okay, there we go. told you about the circuitors. <laughs> Can't speak and walk upstairs. The library. The pride of our monastery. A trove of learning. We don't just read books here. We also copy them. You too will learn how. And that's okay. all. Today you are still free from duty. But tomorrow you begin work like the others. If you need anything, ask any of the brothers. We will be glad to help you. And I recommend you get to know the other novices. You already know me. Then there is Siskin, Yodok, and Lucas. Thanks for showing me around. There's a lot to learn here. Let's not tell him about that. Lock picks. Wow. Okay. Maybe not straight away, huh? Will you tell me something about yourself? So, there's not much to tell. I lived in Vlashim, and after my father died, I found out I wasn't much of a merchant. So I left the shop to my brother and decided to become a monk. It's peaceful here. There's food and lots of time to read. So you chose to come here? It may seem strange. But I'm one of the few novices that did. I might be the only one. The truth is, the idea of spending my life in a monastery was more appealing than being cooped up in a greasy old shop. Hmm. All right, then. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. But he's definitely not who we're looking for. <clears throat> uh, let's just ask about the ropes. Who's in charge of things around here? Truthfully, everyone except us but officially Abbot Peter, and soon enough, someone else. As if it mattered. Our life will still be work and prayer. I see. Yes, it does. Are there any rifts between the brothers? Yes. From the moment talk began about electing a new abbot, it's been like a hornet's nest here. Strange you haven't noticed. Well, I've just talked to you. That's the only person I've talked to. Of course I wouldn't have noticed. Tell me something about electing the abbot. Abbot Peter is old. When he dies, they'll have to select a new abbot from amongst the brethren. The candidates are John and Nevlas. And if you ask me for my opinion, Nevlas is definitely the right man. Unfortunately, no one cares about my opinion because novices get no say. Tell me something about life here. Work, prayer, work, prayer, as if you didn't know. We serve God, and that's the central truth of our lives. What are the roles of the various monks here? Someone takes care of the library, someone else the garden. The abbot supervises everyone, and in his absence, the prior. But it's the circators you should worry about. They're the brothers who'll make sure we observe the rule. They can be quite strict, so if you want to avoid getting punished, always act righteously and do your duties honestly. Um. All right. Thanks, dude. Antonius is a nice guy. I'll kill you last. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to kill him. Probably. Um. All right. So. Quests. Dr. Fire, one of the perpetrators of the New Half Massacre, Pius Mo Mysteries Novices. But how will, know, how will I know which one he is? I doubt he'll tell me himself, and I wouldn't want to kill an innocent man. I'll just have to try and blend in here and look for any clues that might lead me to him. For now, I don't uh, know which one the novice is, but once I find out, I should die. Or I, or I could be under justice, as like an afterthought. Dr. Saradzik about my mission to drag down Pius and kill him, but Saradzik would rather I handed him over to justice instead. He wants me to take him to the bailiff. Okay. Let's... Um, 
Hey, I need to read this book. Uh, this uh, book. Blah. Okay. So my name is Brother Gregor, and I am a monk in Sasa Monastery. What would Power have said about that? Most likely, he'd piss himself laughing. God rest his soul. Anyway, in order to not draw attention to myself, I must dress like a monk, speak like a monk, and behave like a monk. I entered the monastery, was amazed at, to find how different, complicated, and nonsen nonsensical everything seemed here. Well, I don't know. It's not really complicated, or it kind of makes sense. Everyone's got a job. You do what you you told. I mean. A lot of sense of that. Novice Antonius offered me to show you the ropes, which I was glad to accept. I'd better get some sleep. Not yet. Uh, we're in the library. Let's sit down and read. A lot of stuff in there. Oops, I took everything. Oh, I'm sure. I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna. Still got all this kind of stuff anyway. Still got all this rubbish. So. Ah, it's fine. Alright, let's let's read uh, Everyday Labor since there's nowhere to. Uh... Very hard. So I'm not gonna lockpick it. I'll need a key. If I want to get in there. Whatever reason. Okay, fine, we'll just read here. So, everyday labors. Okay, new level in reading. Brother novices, following schedule describes daily activities you shall attend to on the first years of our monastery. Order and discipline are the cornerstones upon which the order of St. Benedict is built. Any violations of the schedule thus marked, exclamation mark, shall be disciplined by the punishment of solitary confinement. When it is meditation, seek prayer until you can be substituted for food and sleep. 3 a.m. Start of the day. Morning prayer at 4. Can't skip that. 6 a.m. Common meal. Um, Alright, and 8. Work at the fatter, um, the fattery. Frattery. Signed by Brother Nevelas. And 12 noon. Work in the library. By the librarian. Then, then 4. Afternoon workshop. Then common. Then supper. Free time before retiring. And then... 9 p.m. rest and nighttime care for you. Well, that sounds that sounds great. And Jesus Christ be praised. <clears throat> so we've got to be up. So 4 a.m. morning prayer. We've got we got, and then we have to go to work. We've got to go to work. We've got to go to work. Sounds great. Yes, it's great to volunteer for, isn't it? Looking to get some not some lock picks. Well, it says that we should, um, go to sleep. I'm going to have a bit of a wander around to see if we can find anyone else in a white robe. But what time is it? It's, yeah, so they should be on free time right now. Ah. Greeting, Father. I'm Gregor, and I'm new here. Greetings to you, brother. I'm Yodok, the oldest of the novices. I hope you'll like it here in the monastery and that you won't get into trouble. Trouble? You're young, perhaps intemperate. You might easily stray from the rules of the order. I suggest you get to know the older monks. You never know when it might come in handy. I'm not going to blow my cover. <clears throat> At no point does the game say you should do that. And while you could probably get away with it, um, maybe not to the other novices. And he's... Right, so this guy's the oldest novice, so it's not going to be him. I'm interested in the other novices. Do you know anything about Antonius? God be with you. Only that he came to the monastery voluntarily because he didn't want to work in his father's shop. Antonius is all right. You can rely on him. He won't betray your confidence. He's okay. always happy to help, which is more than can be said for the other brothers. Oh, the other brothers. Well, we haven't met them yet, so we can't ask about them. Can you tell me something about yourself? I would if there was anything noteworthy to say. But I'm just the ordinary son of a landowner, now a monk. There's nothing in my past, present, 
Our future that anyone could find interesting. <laughs> Why did you join the monastery? Because it was better than living in poverty. As the youngest son, I'm not entitled to inherit my father's estate. But he was kind enough to sell off some cattle and send me here. And you know what? I'm glad to be here. It's better than mucking out manure. <clears throat> Fair enough. No. Don't know why this is relevant, but it seems to be. Who would you vote for as the new abbot if you could? Why do you care? We don't have the right to vote, so we shouldn't get mixed up in it. I'm just interested, that's all. I like John better. But like I've said, it's not our place to get involved. It's enough that Antonius is mixed up in it. Don't you start too. Mixed up in it, is he? I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Who's in charge of things around here? Truthfully, everyone except us. But officially Abbot Peter, and soon enough, someone else. As if it mattered. Yeah. Our life will still be work and prayer. So it's like the same answer. Are there already candidates to be the new abbot? Brothers John and Nevlas. Yeah. But the others have been fighting like dogs because of them. We don't have to fight about anything, though. No. Why is who wins so important? We're young and we'll spend the rest of our lives here. And the abbot decides everything about our lives. Didn't it ever occur to you how powerful he is? Why can't novices vote? They say we don't have enough experience to decide about anything. Don't worry. We'll get our chance. Well, that's all. Thank you for your time, brother. Get to know someone like... The monk. Talk to me, brother. <laughs> That's just not here, okay? I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Wow. What can you tell me about the novices here? Back. What can I say? You're here to demonstrate your devotion to God and to live a monastic life. After a year, you can make your vows and become a fully-fledged brother. I meant something specific about the brothers that are here. Praise be to our Lord. But you know them yourself. Yodok is an odd one, but he's diligent and eager. Perhaps too eager. Siskind is good company, but a bit too worldly for a monk. Well, Antonius too, is hard-working and will help with anything, but prays less than he ought. Lucas is as quiet as a mouse, and no one knows much about him. Mm. And then we have you, about who I know nothing. Well, I used to be a big deal. Now, for some reason, I'm, no, I, no, I'm Luke I or something. Right. I'm conscious that the time's ticking away. Oops. Even though it, it isn't. Looks like it is. That uh, stuff. Got some monk. I wonder if any of the monks are um, named. I mean, these two are quite chatty. They are until. Oh, yes, it's good. Okay, you're all the same. My name's Gregor, a novice. You can call me Siskin. Um, Gregor. Are you here of your own free will, or is this a punishment? Although it's not important. Welcome to purgatory. Did you say purgatory? You'll see soon enough. Soon enough. Will you tell me something about yourself? Look, nothing against you, but I prefer not to talk about my past. Oh. And why is that? Why not? Are you hiding something? Why are you so reluctant to tell me anything about yourself? I'm hiding a lousy past that I'd rather forget. I hate to think of all I lost when they stuck me in here. And also because I really hate the question, aren't you the son of the famed Sir Smil Flashka of Pardubitz? I was rich and I had everything. But then my father began to feel his time approaching. So he decided to send a son to the monastery. And, being the youngest, the lot fell on me. I've no head for managing the estate, and they said I'd squander it. Can you imagine? Me, in a monastery. So I took what coin I could from home with me, so I didn't lose out completely. Right. Got a quest update, that's good. Progress. Don't think we've found him. 
Worldly goods in the monastery. Hey, but you completed. didn't have to come here if you didn't want to. No, not if I didn't mind being left to beg alms by the city gate. I had one choice, the monastery or nothing. If it had come to that after my father's death, so be it. But to get rid of me while he's still alive? Yeah. They must have realized you robbed them. <laughs> I donated some of the silver to the monastery when I came in, just to piss them off. <laughs> I can just see my brothers, I mean my siblings, arguing with the abbot to give it back. And you stashed away the remainder? Indeed so. Ooh. What's your plan with this treasure? To get out of here as soon as I can. I'll wait another year or two until my hot-headed brothers cool off a bit, and then I'll take the silver and run off somewhere. Far, plan. far away from here. Alright, well that's... I, I guess... That's all I wanted to know. Well, I'll have like a, a cover Please story, won't they? keep it to yourself. Especially the part about the coin. you got a bit of a loose tongue, haven't you, really, though? Do you, We could... It looks like we... we um do have uh we can select an ally yeah and he's probably our go-to for getting stuff quite like we'll leave him for now i think find out who else we've got but siskin the dodgy guy okay just how i'm going to refer to him the dodgy guy a monk, a monk. Uh, maybe they'll all just be monks. I don't know. All swaying and doing exactly the same animation. That's really creepy. <laughs> Talk to me, brother. See if there's anything different. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. All the same thing. Tell me something about life here. Prayer, work, obedience. That just about sums it up. Guess you can't leave. Not until this quest's done, at least. Um, Are there ever any disagreements between the brothers? Unfortunately, yes. The biggest quarrels right now are about the election of the new abbot. They can already see poor Peter in his grave. Tell me something about electing the abbot. The old abbot is practically on his deathbed. There are two candidates. Half the monastery wants John, the other half... Nevlas. And there's no chance they'll come to an agreement. But you've probably already noticed the atmosphere around here. Boring. Tell me about John. John is a circator and the oldest brother here. It would be only natural if he took the cross here from Peter. He has experience, merit, and composure. He'd lead the monastery wisely. I'd like to know about Nevlas. Nevlas manages the monastery's property. He doesn't have the most experience, but his drive and heart are pure. His faith firm, and his ideas rational. Although perhaps he's too keen to change our routines here, which mm. many brothers don't like. Change progressive. Why does it matter so much who wins? Because the future direction of the monastery hangs in the balance. The younger brothers feel they have to work more than their superior brothers, and that some brothers are more concerned with their own comfort than with worshipping God. The older brothers take a different view. They say the younger monks want privileges they haven't earned, and each side has its own candidate. I thought politics weren't part of the monastic way of life. You're right. But we know nothing besides the monastery. And the abbot's decision can influence our entire life. Some of the brothers take it very personally. That makes sense, doesn't it? It's going to be here forever. The guy who's in charge is obviously going to be a big deal. I probably will, will ask some of these eventually, but you know, I just, I just kind of want to get a feel for this, this, this um, part of the game. Find another guy in flight.
I'm Gregor, a novice. I saw you at the ceremony. I know. It was hard not to notice you. And you are? Lucas, also a novice. Don't get upset, but I don't want to talk to you. I'm happiest alone. Oh. Well, um, tough. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. <laughs> Will you tell me something about yourself? I... there's nothing I can tell you. Really? I mean, where you're from, what sort of life you had before, that sort of thing. I'm a novice, and my monastic name is Lucas. Nothing else matters. Come on. Is there really nothing at all you can tell me? I could, but I don't want to. I'm sorry. I want to stay focused on work and prayer, not on who I once was. I never will be again. What has been isn't important for us. We cast the past aside when we walked through the monastery gates and took our oath. Never forget that. Here's a point, I suppose. <clears throat> I'd like to know something about the other novices. I don't know much, but ask away. What can you tell me about Siskin? Not a lot. I don't know him. Actually, I don't know much about him at all. Except that he's not a stickler for rules. You really don't know anything about anyone? Well, thanks anyway. Don't get upset. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. I just haven't felt like getting to know anyone yet. Suspect number one. But he's obviously new and he's secretive. But maybe it's a red herring, you know? Maybe they put him there. Like, you know, he's just a new quiet one. When really it's this dude here! Oh, it's Antonius. See, all these guys might have a, um, little role to play. Talk to me, brother. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Well, that's all. Maybe I'll just go to bed and see what happens. We've got a quest update. Oh, not really. Alright, Siskin stashed away a coin and a dagger in the monastery. Things he had in his secret stash were mementos of a life inside the monastery walls. The dagger he got from his father and the coin he stole from his home when his family forced him to enter the monastery against his will. <laughs> Siskin's not really a, um, particular for the rules. Find my bed. I know he said the, mon the um, up some stairs somewhere. Let's talk to Nevelas. He's uh, important. I'm Gregor, a novice. I know. I saw you at the ceremony. My name is Nevelas, and I'm the provost here. I'm in charge of the monastery's property, as well as handling trade with the outside world. That means you get to leave the monastery. He's the progressive. Nope, not at all. I just write lists and send them out. Tell me about yourself. I'm the provost of this monastery. It's my job to ensure the monks live a humble life and that any surpluses go to the poor. But in reality, I spend all my time making sure my brother's gluttony and the construction of a new church don't swallow up the few resources we have left. Is there anything I could help with? You know, there is. Perhaps you've heard that Abbot Peter is gravely ill. Kill him! I'm interested in medicine, oh. and I know there's a cure for the abbot's ailment. With your help, I could find out the details, and together you and I could give old Peter a few more years to do good. Uh. What do you say? You can count on my help. What do you need me to do? In order to get the recipe for this medicant, a few rules will need to be broken. 
Now you know most of the brothers believe every illness is a message from God and that it's not our place to deny his will. I, however, think if God sent us not just illnesses but also the medicine to cure them, yeah. then it's our duty to relieve people of their suffering. The cure for Abbot Peter's illness could be contained in one of the books in our library, but it will certainly be amongst the Libri Prohibiti, the forbidden books, those we aren't permitted to read. Huh. Prohibit so like prohibited is um like a I know a lot of words that are, are based on Latin in the English language, like well the English language the English language is just like an amalgamation of all these different languages shoved together, but prohibited looks like it's got its origins in Latin, which is kind of nice. So why are they forbidden? Because they contain occult and demonic practices, witchcraft and all manner of evil. Or so some people claim. Sounds good. It's nonsense, of course. This is nothing but a book of medicine, albeit one written by a pagan. <gasps> Ibn Sina, also known as Avicenna, is universally acknowledged to be a wise man. But here, at some point, someone decided his book is the work of a Saracen devil and must be kept under lock and key. Since then, no one can even talk about the book. But the three wise men were from the East, were they not? Yes. All right then. So I know where it is. Is there anything you can tell me that would help? There's a key to the cabinet in the prior's chambers. The librarian should have another one, or you can acquire some lockpicks. Huh. But I can't tell you where or how. Right. Perhaps Brother Solarius could help. Solarius, huh? I'm ready. For, for a good cause, right? One more important thing. There's always someone in the library during the day. To pass unwatched, you'll need to go at night. It's locked, but I'm sure you'll manage to get in. I'm sure they I say will. Brother Solarius Although... understands locks, but don't tell him why you need it. Once you have the book, bring it to me, and I'll then use it to make Peter's medicine. You'll we'll soon have the election of the abbot over and done with. I might need lockpicks to get into the library, but I'll need the key to open the cabinet because it's... Um, too difficult for me to unlock. We'll do that after we've finished this. We've got a quest, everyone. I like that, dude. I tell you, brother, these online revelries are beginning to tire me out. I'm Gregor, and I'm new here. I am as well. I know. I saw you in the church during the ceremony. I have a feeling we'll be meeting again soon, and often. You see, I'm a circator. What does that mean? I make sure everyone observes the rule, does their work, and that everything is the way it should be. And um, when it's not the way it should be? Then we're authorized to mete out punishment. But certainly you won't require correction, will you, brother? No. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, okay, you can turn him in. Huh. About you in the election, will you tell me more about it? Ask me anything you want. I'm not really interested. <laughs> Well, why can't we just ask him about himself? Why Why is it like talking about him or... Maybe this one. I'd like to know what's going on here. Well, the young brothers feel they don't have the same rights and responsibilities as we, who have spent much of our lives here. And what of it? Privilege needs to be earned. Levelus is lying when he says he wants to right wrongs. All he cares about are benefits for himself and his cronies. Hmm. Tell me something about Nevelas. Nevelas is weak and toothless. He's full of hot air. How anyone could think he'd make a good abbot is beyond me. Enough. I, I don't even want to hear his name again. I know it's really dark, everyone, but... Thank you for answering. Ah, I'll tell you what. We'll sleep on it. I think someone's... He's pointing me towards the bed. Alright, not up here then. Touch it. Like everyone is going this way, so... Alright then, 
We're fitting in this Okay, it is this way. It definitely is this way. In it. Might as well make this opportunity. And don't be shy. Punk. Punk. Lucas, hello. You're new. Will you tell me something about yourself? Guy, there's... Yeah, okay, I right. mean, he's... where you're from. What's... Yeah, okay. I... He's the guy who doesn't talk to anyone. Come on. I could. What has been... It... Punk. Nevertheless, punk. Can monk. All right. Someone's been creeping around in the corridor at night. What am I saying? These yeah, someone's been creeping in the corridor at night. Well, the ghost hasn't sorted them out. Sacrilege. I'll just go to bed, everyone. It's gonna go to bed. You have to finish someone's weeding in the garden again. Yet again. No, Antonius is the nice guy. Desire, brother? Yeah. Well, just, uh... What do I desire? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's a test. I desire nothing at all. Except work and prayer. So this is interesting. Wrapping up slightly. This is like a, um... I think better I'll have to sleep on the floor. Um... Sleep. I wonder if there's a sleep and save, which will get it as mine. So, oh, I do get like a proper bed. Look at that. Right, this is mine. Yeah, so um, I'm going to call it here so that we can start tomorrow's uh, activities with a new episode. But yes, um, this is kind of neat. It's like a mini game within the game, a little sort of like subsection where you're locked in. You got to find your way out and got to learn who everyone is and find the the perpetrator. Like it. All right then. Yeah, grab this before he does. And um, hey, what I shall call it right here. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. We shall get up at three a.m. for prayer at four, or was it? Six and you eat or fall. No, I think you pray first, don't you? You pray first and work, work and work. Something like that. Alright then. Well I'll I'll call it there. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Hope you're enjoying that and I shall see you next time. Doodle. -oo.